Hey everyone, what's up? So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I like to give deep dive analysis vids on projects. And in that time, I've sort of come to notice common threads and themes in DeFi and with projects. So in this video, I wanna give you my top four things which I think are wrong with DeFi and how to fix them so we can make the space more profitable and so you can avoid a rug from a mile away. And also I'm gonna share with you how you can almost be guaranteed to make money whenever you get into a DeFi project. And of course, all of this is just my opinion and it's not financial advice. So obviously you do your own research. So the first and the biggest problem, which is pretty obvious is Ponzi's. And I'm sure you've all heard things like, earn 1% per day in our sustainable project by doing X, Y, Z, or this is a project unlike anything you've seen and make money with our token that will never go down because of some cool thing that we've just invented that's never actually been tested in the marketplace. You've heard it a hundred times before and I have too. The issue with all these projects, as we all know, is that there's no problem or gap in the market that they're fixing and they either don't have a revenue stream or it's not enough. Now, just take a moment right now to quickly think about your favorite project and ask yourself, what gap in the market are they fixing and what is their revenue stream? And if you can't answer that, then the chances are you're probably either in a Ponzi or you're in a project which is gonna be dead in a few months. Sometimes devs can't even answer these questions. And I've even have devs say to me things like, Honestly, we don't know how long it's gonna last. Obviously, it's a little bit of a concern. And when I do hear things like this in the future, then I'm gonna be much, much quicker in telling you about it. The solution to this Ponzi problem is pretty easy. It's find a gap in the market and fill it by selling a product that people actually want and they're gonna buy with a real revenue stream. This brings me to problem number two, which is techno babble. And this is actually a pretty big problem and I know that you've all experienced this. Now devs love, absolutely love to use techno babble on their websites and their white papers. And if you're not sure what techno babble is, it's basically a sentence using lots of technical words to make something sound really impressive. Here are some examples from real projects. Token X uses and provides a whole range of services which are not correlated or conditioned to the usability of the native token. Or protocols will soon be valued on the leverage systems created between the tokenomics and stakeonomics of different ecosystems. Now I know that perhaps after rereading those five times and sitting there thinking about it, you get a vague idea of the understanding of it, but I'm willing to bet that some of you have gotten into projects where you don't really understand exactly what you're getting into. And to make it safer for investors or to even bring in you know, new investors which know nothing about crypto, then the techno babble has to stop or be reduced. Or if projects insist on using it, then just give us a for example afterwards. Another huge problem in DeFi is obviously scams and rugs. And pretty much everyone has experienced one of these horrible things. And if you haven't, then that is really awesome. And I hope you never have to. Now, this is a really tricky one because the whole point of a scam and a rug is that they look utterly convincing. So it's pretty hard to spot them. To spot a potential scam or a rug, there are some obvious red flags like offering utterly unsustainable rewards, pyramid scheme tokenomics, having no socials or community, or having a team of two people who refuse to say who they are because they want to keep in the spirit of DeFi and remain anonymous. Then there are some less obvious red flags like being vague with answers to questions or using generalized statements like crypto is risky and volatile. And then there are even harder things to spot which are usually buried deep within the white paper when people say things like, and this is an actual example from a white paper, we reserve the right to change the protocol to best suit the protocol needs without notice. And that project did rug. So how do you fix rugs and scams? Well, one of the things that you can do initially is to basically vote with your feet. If you think a project looks dodgy, then just don't get in it. And then the devs aren't gonna get the money. You can also, hold devs to a much higher standard. And if they can't give you quick, easy answers to specific questions like, what is your product and what is your revenue stream? Then again, reconsider if you wanna get in it. And the fourth and final 
problem, I think, with DeFi, and this might be a little controversial, and please accept my apologies if this is upsetting, but it's investors. It's me and it's you. And I think some people forget that this is a completely untested space we're in right now. People are literally making things up as we go along. So I've put together a quick summary of things to remember. So first of all, DeFi is risky. Also manage your expectations. For example, if you can get 1K now, or you can compound for six months and then get 50K, which option are you gonna take? Be patient if it is lower APYs and do your best to invest without emotion. And if you FOMO in, then it's probably already too late. Take responsibility for your losses and your gains and avoid being greedy. Take profits, it's okay to take profits. And if you wanna almost guarantee to make money from DeFi, then it is a little bit risky, but basically what you've gotta do is just get in early and then get out. It basically means having no loyalty to the project. And then even if it is a scam or it's a Ponzi, or if it's a legitimate project which is gonna last five years, it doesn't matter. You've gotten in, you've gotten your cash, and you've gotten out. That is a way to almost guarantee every single time that you are gonna make some level of money from it. Then I'm also really keen to know what you think about these problems of DeFi. And if you can offer a solution even better, and you know, I might do a video on those later on as well. And so until next time, my friends, you all have an amazing day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.